Business process outsourcing to India refers to the business process outsourcing services in the outsourcing industry in India, catering mainly to Western operations of multinational corporations MNCs. As of 2012, around 2.8 million people work in outsourcing sector. Annual revenues are around $11 billion, around 1% of GDP. Around 2.5 million people graduate in India every year. Wages are rising by 10 to 15 percent as a result of skill shortage. History Amex In the second half of the 1980s, American Express consolidated its JAPAC Japan and Asia Pacific back office operations into Gurgaon region. This center, called the Financial Resource Center East or FRCE, was headed by an expat Harry Robertson, a veteran American Express employee with Raman Roy reporting to him. Raman Roy later on quit Amex to join GE and later on started his own enterprise called Spectramind which got later on merged with Wipro and then later on started Quattro BPO. General Electric In the 1990s Jack Welch was influenced by KP. Singh, a Delhi-based realtor, to look at Gurgaon in the NCR region as a base for back office operations. Pramod Basin, the India head of GE, hired Raman Roy and several of his management from American Express to start this enterprise called GECIS, GE Capital International Services. Raman for the first time tried out voice operations out of India. The operations in India were the beta site for the GE Six Sigma enterprise, as well. The results made GE ramp up their Indian presence and look at other locations. In 2004 GECIS was spun off as a separate legal entity by GE, called Genpact. GE has retained a 40% stake and sold a 60% stake for $500 million to two equity companies, Oak Hill Capital Partners and General Atlantic Partners. Third-party BPOs until GE most of the work was being done by captives, a term used for in-house work being done for the parent organization. In 2000 Raman Roy and some team members from GECIS quit, and with VC funding from Chrysalis Capital, started Spectramind. At the same time, an organization called eFunds started in Mumbai and Gurgaon, the customer in New Delhi and Docks in Gurgaon. One of the current big BPO firms, EXL Services, started in April 1999, and in 2012 hit $442.9 million in revenues. However, recently, most of the Indian BPOs, even smaller and mid-sized ones, are setting up their onshore presence in the markets they serve. Most of the large players are improving the outsourced business processes by leveraging on their years of experience, and now some are offering more than just plain vanilla BPO processes. KPO transformation and consulting opportunities are gaining favor among large third-party BPO providers like Genpact, Infosys BPM, WNS and EXL Services. Future of Outsourcing Services to India Analysts believe that India remains a vital destination for outsourcing and expect its annual GDP to grow at 8 to 10 percent for the next decade. In addition, outsourcing efforts to India are held up as an effective remedy for concerns about both Chinese government policy and labor force issues, such as increasing costs and shortages. Size of the industry The industry has been growing rapidly. It grew at a rate of 38% over 2005. For the FY06 financial year the projections is of $7.2 billion worth of services provided by this industry. The base in terms of headcount being roughly 400,000 people directly employed in this industry, the global BPO industry is estimated to be worth $120-150 billion, of this the offshore BPO is estimated to be some $11.4 billion. India thus has some 5 to 6% share of the total industry, but a commanding 63% share of the offshore component. The US $7.2 billion also represents some 20% of the IT and BPO industry which is in total expected to have revenues worth $36 billion for 2006. 
The headcount at 400,000 is some 40% of the approximate 1 million workers estimated to be directly employed in the IT and BPO sector. The related industry dependent on this are catering, BPO training and recruitment, transport vendors, home pickup and drops for night shifts being the norm in the industry, security agencies, facilities management companies. Registration of BPO is OSP BPO, KPO, domestic and international call centers, NOC etc. are covered under the Other Service Provider OSP category by the Department of Telecommunications. The companies who are providing the application services means providing services like tele-banking, tele-medicine, tele-education, tele-trading, e-commerce, call center, network operation center and other IT-enabled services, by using telecom resources provided by authorized telecom service providers. The telecom resource means telecom facilities used by the OSP including, but not limited to public switched telecom network PSTN, public land mobile network PLMN, integrated services digital network ISDN, and, or the telecom bandwidth provided by authorized telecom service provider having valid license under Indian Telegraph Act, 1885. The company means a company registered under Indian Companies Act including foreign companies permitted by RBI under Foreign Exchange Management Regulations and registered under Part 11, Section 591-608, of the Companies Act, 1956 for setting up a place of business in India. Domestic OSP, or the OSP providing the application services within national boundaries. International OSP, or the OSP providing the application services beyond national boundaries. General conditions of OSP registration, 1. Registration may be granted to any company to provide application services. These service providers will not infringe on the jurisdiction of other authorized telecom service providers and they will not provide switch telephony. 2. The entities entitled for OSP registration must be a company registered under Indian Companies Act, 1956. 3. A company may apply for registration to the authority in the performa prescribed by the authority from time to time. Online system for OSP registration It is mandatory to get new registration number allotted by the online OSP registration system for the existing OSP registrations. In case you have existing registered OSP sites for which you would like to get the new registration number from the system please contact Assistant Director General ADG, of the Concerned Telecom Enforcement, Resource and Monitoring Cell, term cell preferably before applying for the login ID from the system. Terms and conditions of the OSP registration are available on the DOT website Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, Gurgaon, NCR, Ahmedabad, Mumbai and Pune are Tier 1 cities that are leading IT cities in India. With rising infrastructure costs in these cities, many BPOs are shifting operations to Tier 2 cities like Nashik, Sangli, Aurangabad, Maharashtra, Mangalore, Mysore, Hubli Darwad, Belgaum, Coimbatore, Nagpur, Trichy, Kochi, Trivandrum, Chandigarh, Mahali, Panchkula, Bhubaneswar, Jaipur, Visakhapatnam, Raipur and Lucknow. Tier 2 cities offer lower business process overhead compared to Tier 1 cities, but have a less reliable infrastructure system which may hamper dedicated operations. The Government of India in partnership with private infrastructure corporations is working on bringing all-around development and providing robust infrastructure all over the nation. Criticisms the BPO industry in India has attracted criticism from some observers. Shazad Nadim, of the Sociology Department at Lehman College, City University of New York, reports that Indian call center employees, to confirm to expectations of the U.S. consumers who they support long distance, are expected to imitate the Western employees they have replaced in terms of the use of U.S. vernacular, even temporarily adopting an Anglo name during the call. While this is true, Nadim claims further that this temporary switch to an American-like identity inflicts psychological distress, and has led to the adoption of Western-style consumer lifestyles by the employees, who earn far more than their compatriots. Jodi Saraswati of the Stern School of Business, New York University, claims that the outsourcing industry's political influence far exceeds the industry. 
S economic contribution and has allowed the industry to secure the support and resources of the Indian state ahead of other sectors of the national economy where the developmental returns would be far greater. Another point that should be considered while outsourcing, not only to India but any other region, is intellectual property protection. When companies outsource their work, they have to dilute their core knowledge related to process before transferring the diluted knowledge to the outsourcee. If they fail to do this, the outsourcee can learn enough about the outsourcing organization's business to compete with them later by offering similar services in their own country or even multinationally. See also Globalization Software Technology Parks of India Information Technology Outsourcing Nalini by Day, Nancy by Night 2005 Documentary on Outsourcing in India Globalization and Outsourcing Author Mark Kobayashi Hillary Call Center Security Call Center Industry in Bangladesh Tidal Park Hitech City Infopark, Kochi Technopark, Kerala Silicon Valley of India Azim Premji Father of the Indian Outsourcing Phenomenon Medical Transcription References Further reading Alders, Rob. The IT Outsourcing Guide. ISBN 0-471-49935-8. Brown, Douglas. The Black Book of Outsourcing, How to Manage the Changes, Challenges, and Opportunities. ISBN 0-471-71889-0. Das, Gertrin. India Unbound, The Social and Economic Revolution from Independence to the Global Information Age. ISBN 0-385-72074-2. Davies, Paul. What's This India Business? Offshoring, Outsourcing, and the Global Services Revolution. ISBN 1-904838-00-6. Friedman, Thomas L. 2005. The World is Flat, A Brief History of the 21st Century. ISBN 0-374-29288-4. Kobayashi Hillary, Mark. Who Moved My Job? ISBN 978-1-4092-7107-9. Kobayashi Hillary, Mark. Building a Future with BRICs, The Next Decade for Offshoring. ISBN 978-3-540-46453-2. Kobayashi Hillary, Mark. Outsourcing to India, The Offshore Advantage. ISBN 3-540-20855-0. Kobayashi Hillary, Mark. Global Services, Moving to a Level Playing Field. ISBN 978-1-902505-83-1. Nadim, Shazad. Dead Ringers, How Outsourcing is Changing the Way Indians Understand Themselves. ISBN 0691147876. Saraswati, Jyoti. Dot dot Compradors, Power and Policy in the Development of the Indian Software Industry. ISBN 9780745332. Sengupta, Aranava. Labyrinth. ISBN 0-595-39697-6. External links NASCOM, National Association of Software and Service Companies, Ministry of Communications and Information Technology, Department of Information Technology, India Articles The Rise of India, Business Week Online Inside Outsourcing in India, CIO.com India's New Faces of Outsourcing, The Washington Post Outsourcing, Silicon Valley East, MSNBC Where the Good Jobs Are Going, Jody Thottam, Time.com Some U.S. Hospitals Outsourcing Work, Shortage of Radiologists Spurs growing telemedicine trend, Associated Press videos The Other Side of Outsourcing, Discovery Times Channel Exporting IT, Austin to India, News 8 Austin Will India's Outsourcing Boom Ever Bust, Infosys Chairman Talks Outsourcing, News. Com India 101 on eWeek Video Seminars hosted by Stan Gibson
The Rise of India, ABC News.